Brothers and sisters, we have a plan. This is backwards James. The Lord is mighty. How you guys doing? I want to make a little video outside today. And I'm going to be taking a new direction with the with the YouTube channel uh, for now. And this is good, guys. This is very good. Okay. I want to um I want to start a uh, a little program you know called what it's like to be one of the 144,000 um not to brag but I want to I want to do this because there's going to be a lot of confusion there's going to be a lot of people uh claiming false prophets that's uh one of the symptoms of being a baby Christian they don't know who to believe right they don't know uh they don't know who's who this happened in, in the days of uh, of Moses and Aaron uh, there was a bunch of consternation. You had a lot of argument and a lot of bickering going on. And, oh, that's not uh, symptomatic of today's church now, is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, do the Christians bicker a lot um, between themselves, arguing, always accusing each other of being false? Uh, surely, surely the Lord shouldn't see us doing such things. This is not becoming for the body of Christ, is it? Well, hopefully this series will uh will shed some light on the the subject okay but this first part uh what it's like to be uh one of the 144,000 I took some notes for you guys um one of the things that you're going to look for uh the the chosen ones the army of god uh they are the two witnesses which now's not the time to go into detail but uh, one of the things one of their characteristics you'll see here I got a nice little list there's no there's no retreat no retreat, no surrender, no retreat. Okay, that, that's a big one. Okay, so uh, what are the characteristics? No, what did the Lord Christ say? Uh, you will know them by their fruits. Okay, so one of the fruits of the 144,000, no retreat. They never ever turn their back. They go straight forward. Okay, now I got some scripture to uh, to back this up. Look at Ezekiel chapter one. The four living creatures. Uh, will come into play, of course, with uh, Revelation. Okay, the four living creatures, you see them in Revelation, but you also see them in Ezekiel's vision. Okay, when you when you see the, the four living creatures, you got the, the man, you got the bull, you got the eagle, and you got the lion, okay? And, the you know, each one of them, they have straight feet. Their, their faces are four faces, and they have wings that touch each other. That's nice, but, you know, one of the things that is a big clue is, is they go straight forward. They do not turn when they go. They don't go to the right hand. They don't go to the left hand. They go straight forward as they go. Okay? That's one of the big things. They go straight forward. Do, do, don't turn to the right hand. Don't turn to the left. Another thing it says in Ezekiel's vision is it says when the wheels were lifted up, the, uh, or excuse me, the wheels were lifted up when the... Um, the the four living creatures were lifted up because they had the same spirit so yes the wheels there's two wheels a wheel within the wheel that's your two witnesses look how the wheels have eyes all the way around okay you know you need eyes if you're going to be a witness okay so that's why you got eyes all around okay um it's just the way it is the lord's revealed these things the lord has revealed these things to me so anyways moving on Wherever the Spirit led them, wherever the Spirit bade them go, okay, this is where they went. Because the Spirit in the wheels and the Spirit in the four living creatures, they are one, okay? So again, doesn't this sound a little bit like Revelation chapter 14? Doesn't it say that the, the 144,000, they go whithersoever, whithersoever the Lord leads them, whithersoever the Lord leads you. You will go whithersoever the Lord leads you. You will not turn to the right hand. You will not turn to the left hand. You will go straight forward. You will never retreat. You will never show your back to the enemy. Okay. Now, if you want to review, if you, you know, this doesn't jibe with you. Why don't you review the book of Joshua? Okay. And the account of Jericho. Okay. Because when they, uh, when they called out on the seventh day and the walls of Jericho fell down, research and see what the word says. It says, each man went straight ahead. 
Each, each man went straight ahead before him. And also look how Joshua mourns uh, when the, at Ai when they, when they fell before their enemies because of the sin of Achan. And of course, Achan was taken care of. Achan was from the tribe of Judah. Achan was a Jew. But he was greedy. He went after the devoted thing, the thing devoted to destruction, the banned thing. This would be the, the uh, abomination of desolation. Okay. Well, of course, not for Achan, but for us. The, the word is, was, and will be, so it applies to us. Look at uh, uh, how 36 men uh, died. They lost their lives. That's 3-6. Okay, not a coincidence, my, my fellows. Not a coincidence. There are no coincidences. Okay? I think for the 144,000 videos, I'm going to wear the shades. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> have you ever seen the, the B movie? With uh, Seinfeld, you know what I'm saying, the 144,000, they're the ones in the, the aviator shades. You know, we're going to be, we're going to wear our sunglasses at night. Our eyes will shine just like a lamp, just like uh, Revelation chapter 1. That's another story. Let me get back on the point, okay? So again, Joshua was very grieved that, look, we turned our backs before our enemies. Look at the curse and the blessing of Deuteronomy. He says, surely if you obey my word, never sh will you show your back to your enemies. Your enemies will show their backs to you. You will put your foot on the neck of your enemies. Okay? So we do not retreat. We do not surrender. We go wherever the Spirit leads us. Whithersoever the Spirit may have us go, we will go. And we don't turn our backs. We go straight forward. There is no falter. Okay, now also, this corresponds with Zechariah. Look at the book of Zechariah. You talk about the two witnesses in uh, chapter 4 of Zechariah. Is that correct? And the church says, Amen. There is no obstacle that can overcome Zerubbabel. Okay, meaning seed of Babylon. Born in Babylon. Born in captivity is the spirit of Zerubbabel. And surely we were born in, in exile, but the Lord is gathering us. And we are making a way for the uh, those that are left behind in order to be gathered to the house of God. A grand salvation will be poured out by our God and it will be administered by the two witnesses or the 144,000. Well, you know, this can't really happen if the 144,000 are cowards. You know, the spirit of cowardice must not enter in. The Lord Christ says, not one hair on your head shall be damaged. He says, there is no mouth that will be able to refute you. He said, I will put my words in your mouth and you will stand before kings and judges and high men on the earth and no one will be able to resist you. Yes, we go forward. We do not turn back. There is no retreat, no surrender. Okay. So again, that's uh, uh, looking at uh, Zechariah 14, right? You got the, uh, he says, what are you, old great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, you, you are made into a level plain. Now the Lord Christ also speaks to this. He says, look, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, surely you will command the, the mountain range and it will transfer from one place to the other. That's all they do. They go straight forward. They can't back up. They say, mountain move in the name of Yahshua Yahweh, in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Surely the mountain must move. It must back up. And look, we, the watchmen's on the wall, the watchmen's on the wall. That's right. You know, there is nothing that can resist us. There is nothing that can stand in our way. Look, even Satan must come and bow down at the soles of our feet. Okay? And so, look, it's an unstoppable force. Did you ever see the book of Eli? You know, it was a good movie. You know, he you know, it had a big twist at the end if you didn't see it. But it was very interesting. Like, there's a scene where he's getting shot at. And he doesn't flinch. He doesn't move. You know, the bullet's missed, of course. Uh, again, what do you think this means when he says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper? Now, if someone wants to take a sawed-off shotgun and aim it in your direction and fire, look, if you're one of the 144,000, you don't turn to the left hand, you don't turn to the right hand. The, the bullets move. The buckshot moves. No weapon formed against the 144,000 will have any prosper. It will not prosper. It won't have any benefit at all. They fired their shotgun for nothing. Okay? The mountains will bow down before us. And uh, that's the first thing I wanted to say. I want to make these videos kind of short. So again, 
uh, review the book of Joshua. That thing is spirit. It's full of the Holy Spirit, okay? Read the book of Joshua. Check out Zechariah. Check out Ezekiel's vision. Check out the Gospels and look at Revelation, okay? Because there's no one that can sing the song of the 144,000. And no one will be able to resist them. They speak in the authority of Christ. And he has all authority. He gives it to us. This is also in Matthew chapter 25. Okay, the faithful slave, the faithful witness, the ones that the Lord shall find doing his work when he comes, when he, when he makes his visitation. Surely, surely the faithful steward shall be given control over all the Lord's belongings, over all the Lord's dominion. Okay, and look, they don't back up when they go. They do not retreat. They do not surrender. They never, ever turn their backs. Now, if you see a false prophet doing these things, what you should do is check yourself. Because they are not false prophets if they walk if they walk in the truth if they do those things that are written a four time for our benefit you know if they do things according to what's written and according to the promise of God stop calling your brothers false prophets but stop following after the false prophets because surely they are cowards surely the wicked flee when none pursue and the coward speaks many words but cannot back them up the coward must change his directions all the time the liars the sons and daughters of satan himself surely they say yes and no they go forward and they go backward and they make no ground they stand still in one place until the destruction and until the desolation of the lord that's been declared has been completed upon their heads because they were in rebellion against the most high god surely they are liars surely they are unsteady on their ground they go this way they go that way they're driven about by the spirit of the lord and they are cowards they will not stand still and see the salvation of the lord but look we will stand still and see the salvation of the lord we will not panic and we will not break out in 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 uh in retreat and in surrender and and in running from our enemies look look at all this war that's approaching us no matter what comes let it be a, a, a world from outer space. Let it be, you know, 10,000 asteroids. Don't matter. We're not going to turn our back. We're not going to run. We're going to stand still. Okay? And the mountains will bow down. Satan will bow down. The demons will bow down. All of our enemies will bow down because of the, the name of Yahshua Yahweh. So get it right. This was part one. And I like, what this, I like the way this is going. So I'm going to uh, continue to try to do this. What it's like... To be one of the 144,000. So I'm backwards, James, and I love you. Talk to you later.